Cool Whip. Thank you. Red. Just a small piece, please. A little smaller than that. Half of that. A little less. <laughs> That's fine. 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 Because non-dairy Cool Whip has all the good old-fashioned taste with lots less calories than whipped cream you have to make. And because it's a topping that comes already whipped and is so easy to use, some people like a little pie with their Cool Whip. Brucey, baby! Bruce Aiken! How are you tonight? How's everyone? I better turn the sound effects off. Hang up and try again. How are you all tonight? Good? There you go. All right. See the big fat piggy. Bruce Aiken. Your first cab off the rank, mate. And uh, I've got a couple of beautiful questions from beautiful people and all that. And what I want to do tonight is welcome you to the show. It's Facebook Live, Melbourne Musos, the live component. This will go on on a Wednesday night at 10 o'clock in a few weeks, I hope. And um, what goes on is Bruce Aiken has asked me specifically about minimum triplets. Okay. Now, to do that, what I've got to do is basically do a little bit of triplet work for you. Okay, so what happens with triplets in the most basic of ways when you're teaching it for the first time uh, is that it is uh, triplets are a group of three notes played in the time of two of the same kind. Now, when you're trying to teach that to beginning students, that's a long definition. Uh, cut a long story short, you just say one and a two and a three and a four and a. And so what you do is you might have your four on the floor bass drum. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Like that. Now what goes on is that that... What happens is if you've got just one and two and three and four and, right, quavers, one and two and three. That really is a three against two polyrhythm. But if you try and teach that to a little poppet, they're just going to go, <coughs> sort of thing. Mum, I want to play flute instead. You see? So what goes on? Like, you do it in flute as well. But now, Shannon. There you go. So what goes on is that um, in and of its nature, a triplet is a polyrhythm. You see, because you're playing three in the time of two. So what do we have? The hemiola from Hespaniola. I crap on about that all the time, but that's what happens with triplets. But Bruce, you've asked me about minimum triplets. So what happens is that the definition is still three in the time of two. So you've got to play three minims in the time of two minims, but how do you do it? You see. So if I do, say, a, a bit of a jazz thing, they're normal triplets, one and a two and a three and a four, and they're quaver triplets, you see. Now, what happens? By taking every second one, I've now turned them into crotchet triplets, you see. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three, you see. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, you see. What you often have, you know, like that they're, they're not, they're not uncommon, you know. Give it a shot. Oh, oh, we're halfway there. So bon Jovi, a bit. You know, that kind of thing there. So that's what goes on. Uh, that's a, they're crotchet triplets. But what you want to do, they're every two. So if you're saying one and a two and a three and a four and a, a crotchet is every two. One, so one and a two and a three and a four and a. So given that a crotchet, okay, is half of a minimum, a minimum is two beats. So what you do is that you would actually play minimum triplets every four. So this is what would happen. I'll do it this way. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. What I'm really doing is just four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the rub is to do it in a triplet kind of way. There 
you go. So they're minimum triplets, you see. Now what happens with that is if you're playing one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four, and a three, what happens then is that essentially what starts to go on with this is that because you've got three uh, minims inside one bar of 4-4, four, four, what you're doing is essentially playing now a three against four polyrhythm, you see. So what do we have? C, the big fat piggy, C, the big fat piggy, C, the big fat piggy, C, the big fat piggy. Got to love it. C, the big fat piggy. So what happens is this. C, the big fat piggy, C, the big fat piggy. Yeah? Ah, there you go. All right. So what happens is that um, if you're playing, say, a blues, right? Uh, do da 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 ba da 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 so my high hat's playing three and my left hand's playing four. And essentially, uh, in that kind of uh, context, that is what happens over a bar, you see, with minimum triplets, you see. So what you've got there is a polyrhythm. Uh, that um, comes, I'm sealing my chord, sorry about that. Uh, so what happens is, um, what goes with that, with uh, C the big fat piggy, is um, the basic thing about uh, that is a common denominator when you're working polyrhythm. So let me give you the definition of polyrhythm so you can work out minimum triplets and any other kind of thing you want to work on uh, is the fact that you, um, if you're playing three in the time of two, um, what happens then is you you, you're now playing three in the time of four, you see. So three fours are twelve, okay. And if you want three, you play uh, the three every four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see. And uh, then you play the four every three. One, and two, and three, and four. And that's the easy bit. So if I've got... So that, that's a kind of a minimum triplet based thing. Now this brings me into things like notes within notes and all sorts of stuff. Because if you're sort of doing, say, a crotchet triplet, say, Bruce, what you've got is... Uh, that's what it is there. I can't even stress the importance of learning to do that. Okay, right, bow to the right, bow to the right, bow to the right. Bow to the right. doodle there and what happens is I've got this going One, two, three. Oops, sorry. and then paradiddle it. so what you've got there is a crotchet triplet but then you've got four inside every um, four inside every count, you see. Now this is Frank Zappa business, King Crimson business, this is prog metal business, dream theatre business, it's a lot of business, you see.